there is not enough charging infrastructure for EVs in India. Charging takes a lot of time. The charging stations are not available. They are occupied. Well, these are all perceived problems by the non-EV owners because as an EV owner, you will find out that these are not really problems. In today's episode, we are going to discuss exactly these points. Hello everyone, welcome to the Green and Clean YouTube channel. My name is Vittal. When a new layout is formed in your city or in your town, what comes first there? Do the grocery shops, hotels and other businesses come first? Or do residents come first and live there and then the people who want to do business see an opportunity and, and come there. Well, it's something like this with the EV infrastructure today. The biggest issue is nobody knows what is the magic formula for public EV infrastructure. For example, if there are 100 EV cars, how many public charging stations do we need? Is it 100? Is it 10? Is it 50? Nobody knows because most of the EVs are charged at home or at offices, which are not public charging places, right? So 95% or more than that number of times, the EVs are charged at home or in, in the offices. That means they don't need public charging. They need public charging only when somebody goes on a long trip or somebody doesn't have a, a provision to charge at home or office. That's when they need public charging. And nobody knows really what is this number. For example, nobody knows how, how often somebody goes on a long trip. Is it once a month, twice a month, two times a year? Nobody knows. The, the, the thing with petrol and diesel cars is that you know that they need to be filled at a gas station, at a petrol bunk. That is a given. You can't you can't uh, produce pet petrol at home and fill your tank. You have to go to a, uh, a petrol station. So equation there is quite simple. You can probably foresee what is the demand. But with EVs, we are not yet there. We don't have enough numbers to say that these many EV charging stations are needed for these many cars in a city or a town. So that's the issue. But is it really a problem today? We are going to see that today because what I have done is over the last few months, wherever I, I have gone on public charging places, what I have done is I have taken a video to show you exactly where these places are and how many guns are occupied in real time. So I have started taking this uh, since October 2024, now it's uh, March 2025, so nearly five months of data at various points at various times of the year. So I'm going to show this after this. Today is 10th October. It's around 7.15 a.m. I'm at the Glida uh, charging station near uh, Bellur Cross. All three charging slots are free, as you can see. This is uh, Forum Fiza Mall on 11th October on the day of Durgashtami. Uh, it's a holiday, but out of five charging slots, two are free, three are occupied. One I'm going to disconnect now, so it's three that are free. It's 14th October around 1.30 p.m. and I'm near ha Hotel Skybird near Hassan. This is Xeon charging uh, chargers and both are not working due to some power issue. Um, it's not good, it's not ideal, but Luckily, there are, there are other options along the route, so I'm fine at the moment, even though the charging is not working. But It's uh, Christmas Day, December 25th, uh, 2024. I'm at Bagepalli uh, Samara Wedge, uh, and you have Xeon chargers here. As you can see, there is plenty of availability here. There are four plugs, and only one of them, which is my car, is plugged. So three plugs are free. Just a while back, there was one more car which was plugged here. So, which means, uh, you know, you still had two plugs free here. So, still plenty of availability on a Christmas day, on a long weekend. Uh, so, that's it. 26th December 2024, this is Hyderabad Hotel Marriott. 
there were two slots uh, both were occupied i i am the one who occupied the second slot so i did get a seat this is uh, hotel sindura cafe near jatcherla uh, on 29 december early morning around 7:30 both uh, chargers are free as you can see again you can see here just my car that is getting the charge the other charger is free even on a holiday season like this so we are at uh, samara wedge again uh, second time in this trip on our way back to bangalore it's 29 december time is around 2 15 pm uh, so there are four plugs here and only one of them is occupied three are free so quite a lot of availability already but uh, when we came here there was no power so we had to wait for about 20 minutes uh, for the power to come and then start the charging but we are back on our way thank you on 9th february sunday around uh, 12 noon this is uh, uh, gomi charging station at brookfields both the chargers are free i am at nexus uh, value mall in uh, whitefield on 16th of march evening 6:30 let's see how is the availability here this is the static charging bay in the same mall so there are four uh, chargers and two of them are occupied so two are free and actually you can also see geo pulse uh, bp here three charging uh, plugs are there and all of them are free this is glida at the forum mali mall two charging spots actually four and all of them are free and you can see here in the opposite side there are plenty of plenty of plugs i think in my opinion there are more than 20 charging spots which are free in this mall on a sunday evening at 6:30 on march 16 so people staying in whitefield area around this mall who stay in apartments can easily easily come here and charge their vehicles there is plenty of uh, uh, plenty of availability of chargers in this mall so this is again nexus value mall in whitefield and they have publicized this uh, at every places in this mall 50 plus charging station save the planet one mile at a time i like this caption I'm using an application called eHub by MG which is a very good app to search uh, charging stations and this gives real time availability of charging stations so let's check the real time availability right now today uh, in and around uh, these locations right so let me let me go here and there is a way you can filter so down below you can say it says right there are 4788 chargers currently available but i want to see how many are really available to charge right now so if i click this then it is refreshing so 3973 chargers are available so out of uh, 4800 or something like that 3900 chargers are available so you can see that is the uh, availability all right so what if these are not really fast chargers so let me go here and select oh it's already selected as fast charger so you can see these many are already fast chargers so if i deselect this then you have lot more availability so my point is 50 kilowatt and above itself you have so much availability right now okay next look at let's look at a, a particular charging hub uh, in this case i am choosing glida belandur hub and let's see what is the available uh, chargers there so you can see there are well there, there are a lot of chargers available here as you can see um, this list is pretty huge and if we see what is in use so there are only two chargers that are in use so two chargers in use and so many are available you can see 60 kilowatt 30 kilowatt 7.4 30 7.4 7.4 60 60 60 so a whole lot of availability here okay this time i'm using a okay this time i'm using a different app you might say okay ehub by mg may not be the most accurate 
So I'm using a static app now. Static is a, another provider. So you can see here on the map. I, let me go to this particular location, static trifecta uh, station. So here you can see there is uh, Omni. There, okay, gun connected as we speak. So there were four connectors and two of them are occupied. One is just about to start uh, and the other one is charging. So there are still two charging locations which are free here. So occupancy is just 50% here, right? So that's, um, that's the reality. Okay, so you have seen the reality now with the public charging stations. According to sources, the current public infrastructure is used only 15 to 20%. So that is the occupancy rate, less than 20%. Well, the fact is each public charging station takes up some cost to set up. It's minimum 25 lakhs and it can go uh, way more than that. So do you expect a, a public charging station every three or four kilometers along the highway spending that much amount of time, amount of time and money actually, and then they just wait there for uh, EV adoption for years? It, the businesses doesn't work like that, right? So you can't expect so many charging stations right now from day one before the, the EV adoption really picks it up, right? So currently India's EV adoption when it comes to cars is just about 3 to 4%. It is definitely less than 5%. And in my opinion, the current infra is probably enough for about 25 to 30% EV adoption. So Unless the current infra is utilized fully, how do you expect more charging stations to come up in the years to come, right? So that's that's my point. I hope uh, uh, you understood what is going on in in the uh, you know, on the ground as far as uh, EV charging stations are concerned. Do let me know about your opinion um, uh, regarding this uh, point and. Thank you very much for watching this episode. See you again in other episodes of Green and Clean YouTube channel.